if you're going to make cocktails, you need to consider your tools. Stir drinks, take mixing glasses. This isn't just a regular pint glass, this is tempered glass, because as you are going to work making your drinks, if you shake them, if you stir them too hard, you're likely to break something. And a regular pint glass, not having been tempered, is going to break more easily. So what you're doing is you're putting ice in there, you're changing the temperature of this glass a lot. And the faster your thermal changes occur, the more likely weak glass is to break. So look for tempered glass, readily available in a lot of homeware stores, just be sure to ask. A mixing spoon is a wonderful thing. It has a bowl for making measurements. Whenever you see a bar spoon as a measurement, it's usually about this, about an eighth of an ounce when you flatten it out. The twisted spoon helps move the ice around in the glass, and the flat end can be used to pick ice, depending on how you need it. It can also be used to crack ice if you want to move your drinks along quickly. Slide back out. When you finish your drinks, they finish cooking in the glass or finish being shaken in the tin, you have your strainers. This is a julep strainer. It's circular, it's perforated. It fits nicely inside the mixing glass and it will hold ice back so you can let your spirit flow comfortably without getting any cracked or whole ice cubes in the final drink. This is a Hawthorne strainer. You can tell by the spring around the outside. It fits on top of the mixing tin nicely. You push it closed so that you make sure you don't have any of your ice chips falling out around the sides and you do your pouring like that. This is an English style shaker, which is to say it's metal on both sides. It's different from a Boston style shaker, which would be a pint glass, well, a slightly smaller pint glass, plus this. These tools right here are the essentials and the basics of making a good cocktail, whether it's stirred or shaken. An incredibly important tool, especially if you're following your recipes, are going to be your jiggers. When you see, you know, two ounces, one ounce, three quarters, one and a half, half and a whole, Whenever you see these in recipes, they're generally meant to be followed. Now, if you've worked long enough with pour spouts or just have a good sense for how much is coming out of the bottle, you don't really need them. But I strongly suggest jiggers, both for the amateur and for the hurried professional on the go. Your jiggers are going to help you get a consistent drink every time, so you will consistently have half an ounce, one ounce, every time you pour. There are different schools of thought as to how far you fill the jigger. You can get a flat pour like this. And that's a meniscus, where you see the actual meniscus forming over the top of the jigger. Different recipes may call for different amounts. So you always want to be sure if it's a shy half, a full half, what have you. But the jigger gives you a tool by which you can measure how much is going in your drink and consistently make drinks every time. And these are some of the tools you can use to make a good, consistent cocktail.